What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the new Tamron 28-75 for Sony as well as why it is my new favorite lens and some of the best features of it and I'm also going to be showing you guys some sample footage. So let's get into it. So first up and probably the number one reason that I chose to buy this lens was the 2.8 constant aperture which means that no matter how far you zoom in or zoom out it stays at 2.8 and it lets a lot of light in and gives you that nice shallow depth of field and the closest lens that Sony has to this is the G Master 24-70 2.8 which costs $2,200 and this one's about seven dollars or $800 so in my opinion there's not much competition there. My second favorite feature about this camera lens is that it has a 7.5 minimum focusing distance which means that you can get very close to your subject and get very close detail shots. It's almost like a macro lens when you're all the way zoomed in which is very useful in everyone's kit. And the final feature of this lens that I want to talk to you guys about today is the wide range of focal length. If you're anything like me and you like to just have one lens on your camera and be able to run around for a full day without having to swap lens on and off all the time, this is a great lens. You can get pretty wide shots as well as very close shots, which is a very handy tool to mix up your B-roll and in my opinion, this is the ultimate B-roll lens. That's going to do it for today's video guys. I hope that you learned something. If you're interested in this lens, there's a link below where you can buy it or check it out some more. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Do you think this lens is worth it or do you think it's worth spending the extra money for the G Master 24-70? Also be sure to hit that thumbs up button if this video is helpful for you guys. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and I hope you guys have an awesome week. Peace.